It's your boy Nirgun in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to address about a specific rumor that is going on in social media regarding Hossam Awa. We're also going to talk about uh, Thomas Partey. So don't don't forget to watch the video till the end. And don't forget, we also have a lot of updates about Arsenal's injuries and the Carabao Cup information as well. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe if you're seeking daily Arsenal content. This is the best place to be. And also, you can follow, reach me out to me on my social media. I'm very much active. You can also have a conversation with me on the social medias as well. You can also join my Fantasy Premier League, the code of which is already on the screen. So cheers. Let's move on with the video. The first spectacular news that I've got about Hossam Awar is that According to a source, uh, they know uh, Arsenal know that the, that the president of Lyon, Jean Michel Olas, is very clever. He wants to sell Hossam Awar, but he will push until the last day and hour until he gets at least 45 million euros. He and Thomas are the great targets of Mikel. We will see. Also, let's talk about the Carabao Cup quarterfinal draw of the Carabao Cup will take place on Thursday, 1st of October, live on Sky Sports, following our tie against Liverpool at Anfield. So exactly when we finish our tie against Liverpool at Anfield, we're going to face uh, uh, the prospect, if we qualify, that is, for the quarterfinals, we're going to face the prospect of knowing who are going to be our opponents. So yes, let's talk about different stuff. Let's talk about Bayer Leverkusen here because Leverkusen, Leverkusen have offered £9 million, pounds, exactly, that's that's what you heard, £9 million pounds to Arsenal for left-back Ziad Kolasinac, according to the, the mail, because a deal involving both Leverkusen and Arsenal should progress on today. To, well, well, they have to finish it uh, by today, so let's see if they can do it or not. Because in further boost to Arsenal, there's a boost to Arsenal about uh, Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid, is that the club Arsenal are hoping to entice the Thomas Partey away from our poise to launch a new offer for Lukita Torreira, Lucas Torreira. Meanwhile, Arsenal were in contact with Lyon over a move for Jose Mawar again on Tuesday night. So, new bid is definitely coming from Arsenal. How much is it going to be? It's going to be revealed very soon in the video. So, please keep watching the video till the end, man. Consider subscribing. 13,000 subscribers. New, actually new milestone that we would, would be targeting. James Bengay tweets out, despite Arsenal's plans to strengthen their midfield, I am told uh, it remains unlikely that Emil Smith Rowe will depart on loan before the window closes on October the 5th. Should they change their mind, the likes of Palace, Fulham and Southampton are firm admirers of his. So let's see if uh, those three teams would get a piece of Emil Smith Rowe. I doubt it will be, but let's see. And uh, talking about different stuffs, let's talk about. Uh, uh, Dennis Bergkamp, Dennis Bergkamp has come up with something. He said, "I think my power, my strength, is to bring players from the youth to the first team." So Dennis Bergkamp is desperately wanting to join Arsenal's backroom staff. I hope he joins in soon, because it looks like it'll be difficult. But yes, it it looks like it. Um, let's see how things will turn out. Well, here's a concrete source. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's a source which believed itself to be a concrete source and is actually spewing a lot of fake news here. Because Conrad Harrison says, Our agent currently in London with his family, putting final touches to his new five-year deal. Arsenal's bid of £42.5 million has been accepted by Lyon. Some add-ons in there that are unclear at the moment. But Arsenal have their man. Five-year deal for Awar, whose wages will rise significantly from the wages he is on at Lyon. Arteta big influence in the players' decisions. So that is what has been told to me from Conrad Harrison in a tweet here. I don't. If you come across with this kind of news in social media, in Facebook, or wherever you will, do not believe it at all. No, please don't. And talking about Callum Chambers, uh, he also mentioned that Callum Chambers is offered from Fulham. Yes, it looks like it is going to be a loan deal with an option to buy, which Arsenal have refused. Arsenal want 15 million pounds if they want. Callum Chambers, they have to pay 15 million pounds. As simple as that. And also he mentioned, Kolasinac Leverkusen is done. 10.7 million euros is what Arsenal are going to get from Leverkusen. I don't believe it either. Well, talking about more stuff, let's talk about confirmation here. Because Telefoot Info of Mercato, uh, Telefoot Chain actually, um, have all already mentioned the fact that uh, confirmation of contacts between Olympic Marseille and Arsenal about Matteo Guendouzi. Yes, very complicated operation because Marseille want a loan while Arsenal want to sell the former PSG player. So let's see how things will turn out. If Arsenal can or will they, can, can they actually get it, get it done? 
Can they let Matteo Genduzzi leave? Only time will tell. Moving on. Arsenal injury news here. Callum Chambers, knee injury and Skardran Mustafi of hamstring. They're aiming to be back in full training in the squad after the October international break. Both will be back. And talking about some good news in from injuries. Socrates and Cedric Soares now back in full training. Yes. Cedric Soares and Socrates are now back in full training. I hope they'll keep well and they'll definitely perform better. But let's talk about Emil Smithrow because he's now back integrating back into training because of the shoulder injury that he received. He actually experienced. But let's see. According to Mercato, BFM Paris tweeted out that Jorginho's agent denies an offer from Paris Saint-Germain. So no, no offers from Paris Saint-Germain for this guy. Um, let's see how things will turn out. How, how uh, things move from here, Jorginho to Arsenal? Well, it, uh, the news have actually uh, has become quiet, but let's see. Well, Hossam Awar was one of the several players at Warwell's analytics-based scouting turned up as potential replacement for Ozil back in June. Wow. Lovely. But talking about more facts, let's talk about Fabrizio Romano who spoke about Thomas Partey. He said, Thomas is not pushing to leave the club. It's a different situation between Awar and Thomas. Atletico Madrid's board are really convinced that the player will stay. Now it's up to Arsenal because there is a release clause. And uh, talking about Torreira, Fabrizio said, his agent is in Madrid. There is a meeting today between Atletico and his agent. The agreement between Atletico and Torreira is completed. Personal terms are not a problem. The player wants a move and to join Atletico Madrid. He's already spoken with Diego Simeone. And... Uh, the problem is to find an agreement between Atletico and Arsenal. Atletico want a loan with option to buy. Arsenal want a permanent deal. Talks on. But what I feel, Atletico Madrid can sign Thorera. I expect the deal to be completed soon. So it looks like, uh, well, Atletico Madrid will make the deal very much soon. A done deal. And we could hear a soon. Here we go. And here's a bad news for you guys. Yes. Thomas Partey is in the playing 11 against uh, Huesca. Yes. He's in the playing 11 of Atletico Madrid already alongside Jao Felix, Suarez, Vitolo, Saul, Thomas, Llorente, Renan Lodi, Hermoso, Felipe and Kieran Trippier alongside Jan Oblak. So yes, Thomas Partey is in the playing 11 against Huesca which is going to happen right now. So yes, this is some, some bad news here but I don't think so. It is going to change the fact the fact of the matter that Arsenal are still in for Thomas Partey. Man, I, I completely don't believe that at all. But... It is a setback. I was not expecting him to. Uh, he was in. He was on the bench when they faced Granada. But he is a part of the playing eleven against Huesca. Let's move on. Well, yes, uh, Kevin Friend. Let's talk about the officials. The four officials that have been announced for Arsenal versus Liverpool, the Carabao Cup fourth round game. So Kevin Friend has been appointed. He is in the picture as the referee for Thursday. Is the Carabao Cup fourth round tie away to Liverpool? Adrian Holmes and Simon Beck are assistant referees and the fourth official for the game would be Paul Tierney the same guy who gave a red card to Christensen when he actually literally grabbed or tried to grab Sadio Mane against Chelsea Arsene Wenger will be a guest on BBC's Graham Norton show yes there was a tweet which, which was clearly mentioned the fact that uh, Arsene Wenger will be a guest on the Graham Norton show on October the 16th along with Don French Freddie Flintoff Michael Kimaluka and Samuel L. Jackson who I fully expect to ask Mr. Wenger if he regrets not leaving Arsenal on a high after the FA Cup win in 2015. So yes, Arsene Wenger is going to be a, be a part of BBC's um, Graham Norton show. That is good. That's really cool, man. And Arsenal target Hossam Awar absolutely wants to leave Lyon. New reports have clearly mentioned according to Lequip. They report that the player is prepared to join Arsenal having initially had grander hopes of a transfer towards Man City or Juventus. And talking about more stuff, uh, well, James Benge tweets out about uh, Seyad Kolasinac. He says, talks are ongoing over Seyad Kolasinac with Bayer Leverkusen. No fee agreed yet. And talking about more stuff, Don Draper says, Jean Mikel Olas is, has already spoken of about two proposals for Jeffrey in Adelaide, which are not up to the mark. While for our Allah spoke of two clubs interested in the short term and the other one in the medium term in a year, there will be nothing concrete before Friday, he said, recalling that Olympic Lyon had set a deadline for buyers, set Friday night because there is that is where the players will be chosen by Rudy Garcia for the match against Marseille, scheduled for Sunday in League One. So Arsenal 
You've got very less time to sign this man. Uh, not this man. This man. Fabrizio Romano also spoke about Hossam Awar. He said, Arsenal are going to try again and they'll raise their bid. It will be more than 38 million euros. They will try to go over 40 million euros. So if Arsenal want their man, pay 40 million euros or more than 40 million euros. And Jean Mikel Olas is definitely going to bid adieu to Hossam Awar. These were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came away. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So what you got to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you love he uh, hearing me saying moving on, so then subscribe. And we are on a new mission of reaching 13,000 subscribers. Help us reach there. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And yes, channel memberships very soon.